now by Bloomberg contributing editor Richard Falkenrath. He is deputy Homeland Security Advisor in the Bush White House. He is now principal with the Chertoff Group. Richard, you and I and Eric spoke earlier about this idea that perhaps relationship between U.S. and Pakistan is going to be more tense. You said that is certainly a possibility. But from an egocentric point of view, what does this mean for U.S. citizens? I mean, we know there's a travel advisory. Does it mean that we're going to go back every time we travel to the airports and back to post? 9-11 where, I mean, it just takes hours and, and it's really slow travel. Well, there's a travel advisory out right now as a result of this. It's basically done out of an abundance of caution. I think there won't be much change uh, for the average citizen as you move around the country or around the world in the sort of security regime that you have to go through. If we see a new threat, if there's some new tactics that come along, if there's a new uh, series of attacks, then yes, uh, there will be adaptation. But killing bin Laden in and of itself is mostly a, a feel-good experience for American to get some closure on, on a decade after having been attacked on 9-11 and uh, to have some confidence in our intelligence community and our military to carry out something they've been trying to do for uh, nine years. Uh, Richard, let's take it back uh, to the region right now because uh, Harris Anwar was just telling us about the response in Pakistan. What about Afghanistan, right? It was the Taliban that gave Osama bin Laden shelter in the first place and allowed him to plan the 9-11 attacks. Clearly much has changed there. There's going to be new leadership. But in terms of uh, policy implications, what does Osama bin Laden's death mean there? This could create a real, it could worsen a dilemma for President Obama. So President Obama has intensified U.S. military operations in Afghanistan. The Taliban controls about a third of the country right now. But we have you know, nearly 150,000 U.S. troops and well over $100 billion per year spent in these military operations. Bin Laden and Al-Qaeda was the one part of this that everyone agreed on, that we should be going after them. The rest of it is highly controversial, and in fact, the American public now does not strongly support this war. And I think a majority of the American public say it's not worth the cost anymore. This is a really serious problem for President Obama because he has doubled down on a bet that President Bush started and needs to prevail. He cannot have a loss of this war on his, on his record. Yet the one cause for these military operations, al-Qaeda, that everyone agrees on is now, to a certain extent, taken off the table. And unlike with bin Laden, you can't just take out one person in Afghanistan and declare victory. Not even close. It's a completely different sort of objective and, and requirement in terms of what the military must do. Richard, we're going to continue the conversation after this break. We're also going to show you how the markets are reacting to